Okay, this is Puerto Rican 88. Got a request from Nickel15 on how to edit your door sounds on one of the trains. So let's go to that to get started. Recently, when I saw one of your videos that I asked you on how you did the door sounds, and I guess I figured it out anyway, but yeah, that just popped into my head for a second. Anyway, to re-edit your door sound, well, you did it on your R46, so I guess that's something you know already. But you want other chimes, right, on how I got the sounds? Well, okay. Now, this IRT version I'm, I'm editing right now, which only has the door open sound instead of all both uh, ringers like door open and close but there is a way to put them all together on this uh, single file that only says door open which repeats itself every time the door is open and close it repeats the same sound okay so let's get started okay this is the original thing you have the original door sound you have Okay, so to get to switch door sounds or to get different door sounds, you have to find the ones to download or record it. But that I'll also show you in probably sooner in my next bit. All right, I just opened this one. It's a different um, door sound of uh, R68. That whoosh sound. Okay. What I did is, I copy the original file that I opened, and this is the door open. Well, let me show you the other way. Copy this right here. Okay. Copy. And on this one, do the same thing and paste it. Like this. Okay. And there's your other door sound that you have recently put on the door open uh, wave pad. Okay, and now with this only sound, even though it don't doesn't have the door door close sound, there's a way to put them together with the whoosh sound and the and the chime. Okay, so look for the door chimes you've recently, I guess, downloaded or or edited or recorded, however it is. Damn, which one is it? Well, let me, um, look, okay. That's the one. Okay, that's the door chime. Do the same thing. Copy this one. The original file. And put it on this one. The same thing, but except put paste mix. This will mix the sounds all together. You can adjust the volume on the on the second one that you just recently pa pasted. As in, you could set it up to maybe I don't know, however you like the volume controls. And there you there you see now it's all together. The the chime and the whoosh sound. Even though it doesn't sound right like that it has to be but yeah you can do it the other way around like you could put it over here so that way you can put it right where the whoosh sound is right there see just like that and then just delete the other ones like copy those and delete it so that way you could only hear the the door chime if you want. Yeah, that's um only on the door door open wave the wave uh, pad as in the the sound. And on the other ones that have door open and close. 
Okay, on door open, you could push, you could put the whoosh sound if you want. And if there's a train that has a door closed sound, just do the same thing, almost like this. Just set up the chime sound if you want, or any type of different chime sounds you could look for to put on commuter trains or subway trains or however. Like for instance, I'm pretending that I'm opening up a door a door closed sound. Okay? Then afterwards the same thing. Copy the original file right there. And then right here on the door close and then just paste it over the other the original do door chime sound you have. And now you have a newer chime like this. Then save it afterwards once you're done. Okay, this is a little warning. Do not rename this, otherwise it won't work. Okay, on the door close and the door open sound, do not rename it. Otherwise, it might not work. Okay? Alright, I hope this helps. Um, whatever, you know, however door chimes you want or the wish sound, whenever the door is open or close. Alright, this is for Nickel 15. Hope this helps you. Alright, see ya.